Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. Now, I'm gonna show you a mistake. We are in a property that Ash and I, excuse me, it's our 14.99 microphone, no expense spared for you guys. Ash is behind the camera, and um, we're here just to do a final snag. This property has just gone on the market. We've done one snag already. Um, they've come out and fixed things, and we're just doing our final second snag. What have we found? We found one slightly wonky drawer, one dead fly, the windows need cleaning, and a tiny bit of cracking, which is just normal of the plaster. I mean, tiny hairline crack that I just want them to fix. That's fine for a second snag. Um, I just want to show you a mistake. I like, ugh! Uh, so this is, this is one of the beds. What have they done? This is horrible, honestly. Um, you have to be really quite careful in my view, and I'm quite um, dr driven by colors and how things visually work. Now, some people are and some people aren't. So some of you guys or ladies watching this video and thinking, I don't care what something looks like, that's fine. You're gonna be that kind of buyer. But there are other people for whom how something feels and how something self-presents and how it, it looks and the, the th first 30 second impression you get is really important and that's why we always dress houses so this one we bought 168 21 grand refurb we bought it pre-auction it's going on the market for 250 fingers crossed should do well let's see what happens um but i don't know where my team got this bed from it's uh, i personally think it looks incredibly cheap and not very nice at all nor so so you can probably spend the same amount of money and not make mistakes like that. I think that's a bargain. That's my official version of it. Normally what we do is we buy beds at about 125, 130 pounds from Tesco or from Wayfair that are kind of um, Victoriana, they're thin, they're white metal, uh, that, or they're painted white and they just look really quite nice. I just personally think this looks like a supersonic cheap bed. So today, although this room itself looks quite nice, and maybe stay out of the way and Ash can do a pan shot, I want to show you a mistake that we've made. We're not going to change it. It's going to sell. No one else apart from me is going to really notice because we piled it with cushions, but I notice enough that I'm going to go back and go, what did you do? So here you go. Here's a little pan shot. And just notice what we've got in this bedroom. We've got a mirror behind us, which we get from Ikea for 15 quid. We've got the bed. I've no idea where they got it from, but there you go. Good. <laughs> they ain't going to buy another one. We've got a bunch of cushions which reflect the same kind of colour scheme we've got all throughout the house, which is um, blue. And this time we've used yellow to make it pop. We've got our slightly famous bed. Uh, sorry, um, table tray. Do you remember when I thought I was selling food in bed and I thought that was a really great idea? Oh, I've just spotted something else right behind Ash. There's a little dried paint drop. There you go. See, we're snagging even though we're videoing. Okay. <laughs> Do you see? right beside his left ear you know when you know when the painters left a little drop to to drop um do you want to show it that okay that's got to be sanded off and redone <laughs> i might have missed that if i hadn't been doing a video for you guys and then we just pile it up with cushions and we're trying to make it um welcoming you notice in this room we haven't put every piece of furniture you'd actually use uh, in a in a bedroom so we don't have a wardrobe and we don't have a chest of drawers but we have enough furniture to show a room in good use with plenty of space and lovely light so it's good display so bought for 168 refurb 21 on the market for 250 see how we do Bye bye just now. Oh, um, you can subscribe to our videos and also have a look at our website because we've got loads of resources for you. See you soon. Bye.